Hello, 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 and happy hump day. How is everybody doing out there? Welcome to Poncho Thon number 95. That's right, Poncho Thon on FB Live number 95. We did not know we'd make it this far, y'all. But y'all been uh, graciously keeping up and checking into the show, so we'll keep on bringing something to you as long as you keep checking in. As you look on my walls, you see a lot of blank spaces because I have a few shows running on right now. I have a all small original show going on at Davenport's Framing here in, uh, what's it called? They call it Hamden in Baltimore. It's a nice little, nice little uh, community neighborhood, shops, pubs, restaurants, clubs, and have a gallery in that space that is exhibiting about 24 of my small originals. And that will be running through September the 8th. Uh, we're also getting ready for a couple of exhibitions for the fall, which I will be keeping you abreast of. But what's going on with y'all out there? Uh, man, the weather is acting crazy again. Storms coming up from Florida in this uh, South Kakalaki. Woo, you know, some serious stuff happening. People talk about the uh, Baltimore in our reputation. But one thing Baltimore doesn't get knock on wood is the, uh, the real uh, leaf weather. So we've had a pretty mild summer, very few days uh, in the upper 90s. We haven't been in 100, I don't think, at all this year, not even in the heat index. So, you know, we're doing pretty good here in Baltimore, I'm holding it down. I've been just hiding inside anyway just to stay out of trouble. But that's what's going on with me. How y'all doing out there? We've got a couple of folks who already checked in. What's happening, Mr. Lyle Mark? The first one to check in today. How are you doing today? Hey, Miss Rachel Braxton. Thank you for checking in. That's right, number 95. Woohoo. We are keeping it going. Uh, glad y'all do it well. There is 104 degrees. Darn is right, man. I don't know what y'all drinking right here today. I got me some smart water uh, with a couple of ice cubes. And then I know I'm not supposed to be drinking refrigerated drinks. Uh, but I'm on it today sometimes when it's hot like that. And it gets pretty warm in my studio. That is what refreshes me. Hey, Alika Muhammad, how are you? I hope that my signal is strong enough today. Sometimes we have a little problem. and have been having problems really for the last couple of weeks with our signal. Uh, our Wi-Fi signal is supposed to be much higher than it is, but I think these companies all get over on us one way or the other. But for right now, and I'm kind of stuck until I can resolve what that issue is, but we've been making it through the last couple of weeks, so hopefully things will be okay. Uh, that's what's up with me. That's everything that's happening. Thank you guys for checking in and let me know what you're doing and what's going on. Mr. Loud Marcy say he's got his margaritas as usual. So, you know, some of us are uh, hydrating with water and trying to try. And, and I, I wish I could have a margarita on the show. One day I'm just going to, I'm just going to pour me a little something on the show. See if y'all can tell a difference. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's what's going on with me. That's what's everything that's happening here for, with me today. We're going to get ready to get the house rules of the way. <clears throat> here we go. Place the item number on our screen. If you're new to the show, we have a number that shows up in the lower right hand corner. Uh, and we show you a slideshow of different uh, items in the shop, in the, in the studio uh, that are up for, uh, for a special price on uh, our menu for today, about 25 to 26 items. Uh, what you'll do is you'll put the item number in the word soul. We're in four locations. We're in uh, um, Facebook at The Art of Poncho. Facebook, Harry Poncho Brown. Facebook at Art of Poncho Studio and on YouTube. So you can post your comments at the bottom of either one of those video feeds. Wherever the video is showing, just go to the comment stream underneath of it. Paste the item number, the word soul. That way I'll know what items you want. In certain cases, me might ask you for a size or something. You can put that in with your number, and that way we can keep track of your orders. Now, if you're new to the show, you will need to inbox us your email address and shipping address at the Art of Poncho or uh, at LarryPonchoBrown.com, and we will send you a PayPal invoice. Uh, PayPal invoice is kind of what we use to keep track of all of our orders. You don't necessarily have to pay through PayPal. You can always pay with another source. You know, PayPal allows you other ways to pay. Um, we also have a $15 flat rate shipping per package. Most of the time, our stuff will fit into one package. We try to make sure that the works come to you protected and in mint condition. So we're not going to just switch stuff into a package just to save on shipping. We will ship what's appropriate. If you do order two different size items, it's the likelihood you'll probably be charged for two shipping charges. But other than that, we rarely run into that situation on the show. So I'm just letting you know what's going on with that. If you are a YouTube viewer, 
uh, it's probably going to be best for you to watch the show, take jot down your numbers or the items that you want, and then to email them to LarryPonchoBrand at gmail.com. And that way I can keep track of all orders going to YouTube because after the show ends on YouTube, it's harder for us to access those comments, whereas on Facebook, we can just access those comments freely. So this show, uh, items from this show are available up till Sunday, and then we'll get ready for next week's show. So th- that that is the house rules, other than the fact that we do also accept cash app at dollar sign the art of poncho. Just remember to add your $15 shipping and handling fee, because if you don't, I will call you and ask you for it. <laughs> Those are the house rules, y'all. If you got any questions, just put them in the comment stream. I'll try to answer them for you. And we'll get ready to get this party started, because you know, um, whew, y'all, August is gone. Labor Day weekend is upon us, y'all. I mean, it is for real. I can't keep up. Um, I, I ain't making this up. Time is actually just leaving us, man. So I got a couple projects I'm behind on. I've been kind of, uh, trying to navigate my projects a little earlier so that I don't lose track of them. But here I'm going to have a very busy fall season, uh, which will probably run into the end of the year and the holiday season. But other than that, we are on track to kind of meet all of the things we need to do. I'm working on a commission right now for the Black Mental Health Alliance. Uh, which they're having an unveiling in the latter part of October. So I need to get painting on that. I'll be showing you some clips of that as I get into that project. But for right now, uh, that's what's going on here. If you want to find any of the items that's on the show, feel free to drop by our website at uh, LarryPonchoBrown.net and you can see the latest and all of the things that's in our portfolio from that particular website. That is everything, y'all. Hey, do me a favor. Just share, 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 share the show. Share it with your friends. Uh, Let them take advantage of the things that you're seeing. Uh, You know, we got to kind of pass the word around because, you know, YouTube does kind of lower the amount of of, uh, exposure we get to see. I don't get to see all 5,000 of my friends on Facebook and all 7,000 of my friends on my other Facebook page. They will throttle us down to about 25 people to 30 people that we see. And uh, that uh, doesn't work in our uh, 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 it doesn't work in our favor, but that's just the nature of what it is. They want us to buy ads and let ads be the, the tracking system for us. And at some point, we will investigate whether it's better for us to pursue that or not. But that's the politics behind it. Remember, share, share, share. And for those of you that are in the Baltimore area that may need to uh, check out my small original show, this is the advertisement up for it. It's uh, started actually on August the 11th, and it's uh, we have a closing reception on September the 8th. And uh, at that point, we will take that show down, and I will be probably planning a studio open house either in latter October or the beginning of november or somewhere around the holiday so that's what's up that's everything that's happening uh let me know if you got any questions about anything we'll get ready to get started and fuck go and see what's happening at the gallery hey how you doing there thank you so much miss uh, ty scott jones for checking into the show hey miss linda gray haven't seen you in a while how you doing she's having a smooth a green smoothie that's right getting ready for artscape that's very very cool uh, thank you for complimenting my T-shirt. This is one of my favorite T-shirts. Just an older shirt. Uh, a friend of mine named Angela gave me this shirt. It says, I never lose. I either win or learn. That is one of my favorite quotes by Mr. Nelson Mandela. And so that, thank you so much for commenting on my shirt. Uh, Lyle, what is he talking about? He says, uh, uh, talk, he, well, you know, my all of my people that watch the show, they communicate with each other in the comment stream. So I'll let you all say hello and uh, greet each other. Hey, Carol Gray, how you doing? Hopefully by now, everybody has received anything that's been ordered. If not, it is on its way. Um, and we'll get ready to get this party started. Item number one. Uh, these are new items that just came in. I showed a couple of them two weeks ago, but I'll show this again because you know all of the holiday seasons are right around the corner. So you might as well get a jump start now what's happening there so we got item number one these are holiday gift cards these are uh boxes of i think 15 yes this is the celebrating our roots card box card set 
um, this box card set is brand new. Just, I mean, the, the ink is still wet on these. That's how new they are. We just got them back from uh, Shades Calendar. That is the person who produces our calendar. And uh, this will uh, be something that I'm sure will be a real, very hot item in another couple of months as we approach the holiday season. But you get a chance to see it first here. That is the wonderful part of watching Poncho Thon. So item number one is the Celebrating Our Roots card box card set. If you like that, just put item number one and the word sold and that box card set will be coming your way for you to distribute for the holidays. Hey, y'all, we got a couple people still checking in. Hey, Kavibia Janku, thank you for checking in. And she's speaking to everybody else. So what's happening, Ms. Chandra? God, thank you for checking in. We got a pretty nice amount of people that are sitting in the room. We appreciate you for sure. Um, but keep, hey, share, share the show. Do me a favor, share the show with your friends. I appreciate that. Item number one, again, is the uh, Celebrating Our Roots card set. If you like that, just put item number one and sold. And that item will be coming your way. Item number two. That's right, y'all. The new calendar is out. I didn't show it last week, so I'm showing it this week. For those of you that haven't seen it, you know, this is my 15th calendar on the market. We put our first one out in 1998. Went through, I think, a few years where we didn't do a calendar, but we have been steadily doing calendars, really, for the last 10 years, at least. And uh, and the last uh, two calendars have saw before January, and that's what we're shooting for. You know, calendars generally come out in August, September, we got ours in August this year. It gives us an extra month to promote. And so this is the Color My Soul calendar for 2024. Yes, indeed. If you want an early calendar, then make sure you catch them before they sell out because a few folks slept last year and in the year before and didn't get their calendar. So if you want this calendar, just put item number two and sold. And the Color My Soul calendar for 2024 will be coming your way. These things make great gifts for the holidays. So I don't need to tell you, you probably got one sitting in the house. They are collector's items too. Item number two is the Color My Soul 2024 calendar. And you can have that for just $15 on Poncho Thon on FB Live number 95, y'all. Nine, five. Woohoo! Item number two and soul. And the Color My Soul calendar will be coming your way. Item number three. It's something we released this spring did very, very well. We're going to probably end up running these through the holidays because they've been very, very popular items. This is the Her Rainbow Halo Hobo Bag. That's what it's called. We did two bags. We did a hippie bag and a hobo bag. This is the hobo bag. Hippie bag basically has artwork going across the handle. It's a little longer. This was a little more compact, but the size of artwork and the size of the bag is pretty much the same. Item number three. If you like that, that is a perfect little collector's item. You can grab a couple of those for the holiday season. Maybe get one for you and your girlfriend. Y'all could be twinning. Item number three. If you like that, just put item number three and sold. And the Her Rainbow Halo Hobo Bag, say that three times, will be coming your way for just $20. If you like that, just put item number three and sold. And that bag will be coming your way. Hey, you know, Miss Carolyn Grace says it's 100 degrees. She is looking forward to the fall. You know what? Uh, the way that the heat has been hitting the United States and the middle part of the country and uh, the West Coast with the fires and the heat, I know everybody's probably looking forward to the fall. But uh, right now we are in hurricane season. So I'm just um, keep praying it away from here. Item number three, again, y'all, if y'all want that, put item number three and sold in that bag will be coming your way. Item number four. Item four is old favorite. We put on the show every now and then. This piece is called Embrace. You know, I like these pieces to deal with old families. This piece right here was done in 1992. It's still one of my real popular sellers. It shows a mother protecting the child, the man protecting the woman and the child, and the environment protecting all of them. This is the principle and the circle of life, really. Item number four is a piece we call Embrace. If you like this piece, this is an open edition, awesome graph print that normally sells for $40. It measures 27 by 27 inches, but today 
on Punchathon number 95, you can have this piece for just $25. If you like that piece, just put item number four and so, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number five. Hey, y'all, tell me what you're drinking out there. Everybody's checking in and telling me the weather out in the areas. Hello, we got uh, Kenny Johnson. She's chiming in from New Jersey. Thank you for checking to the show. Oh, we got our old friend, Mr. Michael McCarthy. He's checking in. Uh, I think he's from, he's there from down south. I forget. Hey, tell us where you're from, uh, Michael McCarthy. He's a regular to the show. He's been following us. You know, we've been on the air for about three years now. So we got quite a few people that tune into the show. We got a nice group of people watching the show today. Uh, I think Michael McCarthy just celebrated a birthday recently, too, from looking at his Facebook page. So happy birthday to you, Michael McCarthy. Item number five. Uh, this piece really was created with a chuckle in my head because they were created in 1995. That's right, 1999. That's right. Y'all remember 1999. Yeah, y'all remember Prince's song, Party Like It's 1999. But y'all was hoarding toilet paper, water, Y2K was coming. Your computers was going to freeze. Anything they had a calculator on it was going to explode. Y'all thought the world was going to end. I forgot. That's right. I told y'all I wasn't going to, but y'all ain't want to hear me then. So I created two pieces. This is one of them called Millennium Mask. They came out in 99. They came out. They were printed, in, and so they were out in 2000. But I wanted to try to come up with some futuristic-looking mask that had African patterns in it. Uh, the patterns really come from kent cloth patterns and African uh, fabric patterns and kent, uh, Adinkra symbols, which is a combination. So, yes, it looks futuristic, but it is Afrocentric down to the core. This is Millennium Mass number one, measures 22 and a half by 30 inches, and it normally sells for $40. But on Poncho Thon number 95, you can have that piece for just $25. If you like that piece, just put item number five and sold, and that piece, Millennium Mass number one, will be coming your way. Item number six. Michael McCarthy is from Charlotte, North Carolina. So that's right. You might duck, be ducked by that storm coming that way. Uh, but nice to see you, Michael. And hey, what's happening, Miss Barbara Venable? Thank you for checking into the show. We got still a great group of people into the, uh, the show today. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We also want you to share, share, share. Uh, the share is on your page, share it on a friend's page, wherever we can. It helps us spread the word, and we get more viewers when we do that. Item number six is a piece called Soundscape. Soundscape was actually a commission done for the Sand Street Festival in richmond virginia it was probably the first piece i did for them they commissioned me to do five different images for them uh this piece right here soundscape we are running very very low on this piece uh, it was a very very popular piece i think it's because it showed a different side of me it's a little more abstract than people are used to seeing from my work uh, but in this particular case soundscapes it normally sells for 40 dollars. it measures 24 by 19 inches uh but today you can have it on poncho thunder 95 for just 20. Five dollars. All of these pieces come signed by yours truly. If you like this piece, just put item number six and sold. And then this piece, Soundscape, will be coming your way. And that's wrap up our first presentation of our open edition pieces. We're going to move to a different part of the show. But you know, we keep trying to bring you a little bit of this, a little bit of that, some open editions, some limited editions, and that's what we're going to do today. We even bring you some originals, so stay tuned. <music> Item number seven is a exhibition catalog. You know, whenever I do a solo exhibitions, and I've been blessed to have done quite a few of them in the last decade. This one was for an exhibition uh, that was held in Springfield, Massachusetts at the Art for the Soul Gallery where I exhibited. I think it was probably uh, more like 30 to 35 of my originals. Uh, in, that, in that area, they hadn't seen that many of my originals in one location. But what we also tend to do with those solo exhibitions is that we do uh, a exhibition catalog is about eight and a half by eight and a half, 28 pages, but it gives you an overview of the images that were in the show. 
this show was titled Stronger Than Pride. This is the exhibition count, uh, a catalog from that particular show. Uh, these make a nice little coffee table throw around, you know, uh, in addition to my book, if you don't already have it. But uh, uh, Stronger Than Pride, the exhibition catalog is $25. This piece will also come signed by yours truly. It measures eight and a half by eight and a half, and it is a nice little keepsake. If you like that piece, just put item number seven and sold. And the Stronger Than Pride exhibition catalog will be coming your way. Hey, we're getting ready to move into some limited edition pieces. But you know, what we promote here on this show is that we want people to be very uh, clear about buying black art. That is the that is what we're trying to do. That's our agenda. We want people to get more vested into African-American art. And so that's why we do this show. And that's why we will continue to do this show and we will be applauding other artists that use this medium to do these types of shows. And hopefully you will continue to support them. Hey, we got all kinds of people checking into the show. Hey, Ms. Dr. Sheila Wright, you know, the book that we sold, uh, I think, two shows ago uh, called Wondrous Works. This is uh, Dr. Sheila Wright. She is the author of that book. Thank you for checking in. I appreciate you. She, if you are looking for a book that will give you a, a rundown on how to start a collection, how to manage a collection, her book is it. Um, we offer them on the show every now and then, but you can also get those books on Amazon. The book is entitled Wondrous Works. Hey, Sheila Wright. Thank you, Dr. Sheila Wright. Thank you for checking into the show. Hey, that's right, y'all. So that's going on. I'll try to get plugs to the folks that have been supporting us in there. Yes, they have. You know, I mentioned just a few minutes ago that uh, it, hopefully you guys have had a chance to see my book. If you have not seen my book, we did a book that was released last July. It has been selling very steadily since last July. And now we have sold about 1000 books and in the prospect of trying to continue moving those books around. So if you want to buy that book, you can go to our website at LarryPunchoBrown.net. And that's where you can find all of our wares. But that is where you can find the book. Item number eight, we're in a limited edition section of the show. These are all set lithograph prints. All of these are signed and numbered, and they come with certificates of authenticity. This piece is called Praise the Lord with Gladness. Praise the Lord with Gladness. This is made by F. Methodist Church here in Baltimore. They also secured the original for this piece for their personal collection. It's in their sanctuary. Item number eight, this piece measures 22 by 26 and a half inches. It normally sells for $100, but on Poncho Thon number 95, you can get Praise the Lord with Gladness for just $50. If you like that piece and you want to add a nice little spiritual piece to your collection, just put item number eight and sold and Praise the Lord with Gladness it will be added to your collection. And um, you will receive a certificate of authenticity with this particular piece. Item number eight and sold and Praise the Lord with Gladness will be coming your way item number nine that's right y'all keep up with me we got about uh over 20 some people in the room right now which i appreciate uh hey tell me how y'all doing out there y'all quiet group i see a good amount of people in the room uh tell me what's going on tell me what's coming up tell me what you want to see item number nine is a piece called the spirit of fatherhood. You know, I like to do pieces that show men interacting with children, men being a central theme of the pieces because we don't see enough pieces with males, especially young males, even in the 21st century. You would think we'd have an inundation of those types of images, but we still see more women, women and children, and that's just the way it is. And so uh, I do these pieces to change that perception. This was actually done for an organization actually a school here in uh, Marifa School many, many moves ago here in Baltimore, Maryland, to help them raise funds for their programs. 
Item number nine is the spirit of fatherhood. It normally would go for $100. It's an 850 edition, in case I haven't mentioned that. Uh, the size is 22 by 29 inches. Uh, normally that piece would cost uh, $100 for today on Poncho Thon number 95. You can have item number nine for just, woo, that's right, y'all, $50. That's right, y'all, if you want that piece. Just put item number nine and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey, Lyle says he's got going to Amsterdam for a lecture tomorrow. Should be fun. Hey, very good, man. We're glad to see you're moving around. Hey, stay away from uh, uh, those places to sell that stuff while you're in Amsterdam. But I, I think this is legal there. Then it's more legal there than it is here. So have a ball. Item number nine. If you like that piece, just put item number nine and sold. And the spirit of fatherhood will be coming your way. Item number 10. That's right. You know, sometimes the computer frizz up on us and we just keep it moving. We just we give them love. We take the time and they usually do what they're supposed to do. Item number 10 is a new is a piece that's almost sold out. Um, you know, sometimes you put pieces out, you have no idea what. Uh, the reaction is going to be, I did this piece for a multicultural office at a school here in Maryland. And um, at that point, they wanted me to do a diversity piece. And I've been doing diversity pieces really since the 90s. But this particular one was very, very specific. It did very, very well. The title of it is Indivisible. Indivisible. Um, this piece right here now, at this point, uh, it measures 22 by 28 inches. It it cost $200. That's the cost of this piece, um, the current uh, value of the piece. Uh, right now, we're running low on these pieces. We only have artist proofs left, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, item number 10 is today on 90, uh, 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 our 95th show, our 95th Poncho Thon edition. You can have Indivisible for just $100 if you like that piece and you want to add it to your collection. Just put item number 10 and sold and this piece will be coming your way and add it to your collection item number 11. yes we are having some problems with our our tech today but that's okay we're going to keep it moving and still working item number 11 you know is a piece we call kindred spirits kindred spirits kindred spirits was done uh I guess I was in a paternal point in my life. I was raising children, particularly raising my son. And, and this piece right here is a reflective piece. I felt when he was born. Uh, a lot of my personal, you know, your personal energies do go into these pieces. This is item number 11. This piece is entitled Kindred Spirits. It uh, measures 24 by 30 inches. It's a 1500 edition because, you know, back in the day, we were doing some pretty good edition sizes because we were servicing upwards of 3,000 galleries all over the country that specialize in African-American art. And so it wasn't uncommon for us to do uh, editions that were as high as 1,500. Um, we've done a, a couple of uh, that were over 1,500, uh, but the majority of my edition sizes are around 850, with our lowest numbers probably being especially on offset prints uh, editions of uh, 600. And so this piece right here, number 11, Kindred Spirits, is a 1500 edition. Come sign a number with a certificate of authenticity if you like that piece. Just put item number 11 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 12. Oh, we bring this piece back every now and then because a lot of you haven't seen it. This piece came out in the 90s when I was doing my Black Angel series. It started with a piece we uh, did called Heaven Sent, and the Guardians came out shortly thereafter. Uh, very, very, both of them were very, very popular pieces. Um, this right here is a 600 edition. Uh, this is titled The Guardian. Uh, the Guardian uh, measures 27 by 30 inches. That's a nice size piece. By the time you put matting and framing one, you have something that's really making a statement. Item number 12 is um, normally $400, the current value of that piece. But you can get the Guardian now for $200. One of the deals of the show uh, for today, item number 12, 
if you like that piece, just put item number 12 and soul and the guardian will be coming your way and added to your collection. That's right, y'all. These are still awesome graphics. We are trying to move through and uh, let you see what we have to offer. We go into the warehouse uh, after every show where we just try to put together a menu of 25 pieces to see what your interest is going to be. Uh, we're trying to cook up some um, some unique shows as we go into the holiday season. Still trying to draw what that's going to be. But, you know, we have quite a bit. I have quite a bit of work around here. So I'm sure we'll keep it moving. I want to do a Circle of Friends show coming up real soon where I show you pieces that are by the artists that I respect and work with and collaborate with and represent from time to time. And so we'll probably do a whole show dedicated to the works coming up real soon. Haven't done one of those shows in a while. Item number 12, if you like that piece, just put item number 12 and Soul and the Guardian will be yours for just $200, normally $400 on Pacho Thorn on FB, number 95. Item number 12 and Soul and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 13 is another 600 edition piece. This piece right here is called The Black. Now, The Black is came out in two different formats. The first original blackness had a white background, and then we released uh, quite a few years later a um, uh, an edition for black background, which completely changed the meaning of the piece. I think that both of them did very, very well. Uh, the original version was 850 in the edition. This particular one was a 600 edition, but this is the Blackness Classic Edition, item number 13. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. These are my some of my popular pieces. This is from my Perseverance series. You know, Surrender. Um, I can give you a list of names of pieces that I've done that are in that series. Um, those are all part of the Perseverance series, and our Blackness was really the first part of that series. Uh, if you like that piece, just put item number 13. You know, it begs the question, is this man in bondage, is he not? Is he vulnerable, is he not? Is he threatening, is he not? And is he peaceful, is he not? It, it, and then it changes again once you see it with white background. Uh, but that's the, the question I, I, I was asking while creating this piece of blackness. If you like this piece, just put item number 13. And so these are very, very, um, pieces will become very, very hard to find. In a little bit the guardian the one we showed prior to this and the blackness are rare pieces that are hard to find in this current uh, marketplace if you like this piece just put item number 13 and sold and the blackness classic edition will be coming your way hey y'all what's going on out there what are y'all having for dinner you know i'm hungry uh i i'm i i don't know what i want but I want something. What are y'all eating out there? Maybe y'all give me some ideas on what I should eat when I leave here today. Item number 13 and sold. And that piece, the blackness will be coming your way. What y'all eating out there? Item number 14. Item number 14 is a piece that we have been showing because we are running very, very low on this piece. This piece is just about... Uh, sold out. This piece is entitled Sun Kings. It's probably our biggest deal of the day because this piece is a $800 limited edition. It was a 1000 edition. It measures 18 by 40 inches. Yes, this piece was done many, many years before Wakanda was even known, but it was done in in the spirit of an uh, African, Afrocentric and Egyptian theme put together. This piece did very, very well. Uh, in the marketplace. This was actually published by my partner in crime and my best artist friend, Mr. Charles Bibbs. Uh, we used to publish and co-publish works together. And he, we were um, probably the first two artists to do that together. You know, uh, yeah, it, traditionally it was publishers doing it, but it was very seldom artists that had their own companies that were publishing each other's work. And so I commend him for having that kind of a vision. And uh, we just did some things that hadn't been done before. And this piece was a byproduct of that. This piece is entitled Son of Kings. It uh, uh, measures 18 by 40 inches. I hope you heard 40 inches. This piece is a long piece. If you got that long, skinny 
area in your house that needs some attention, this is that piece. It normally sells for $800 on the current market. You can see it as high as $1,000 on the secondary market. But today on Punchathon on FB Live number 95, you can get item number 14, the, the Son of Kings, for $400. This is a rare piece, and it uh, is almost sold out. And um, we are just trying to let you guys see what's available because you probably won't be able to access this piece pretty soon. Item number 14, if you like that piece, just put item number 14 and go and sub kings will be coming your way and added to your collection hey in case you just joined the show and you don't know the house rules here they go are moving into the limited edition g clay section of the show these are our higher collectible pieces these pieces are generally done on uh watercolor paper sometimes we do them on canvas but these editions are all on watercolor paper um that they normally are 62 editions and uh, so that makes them a little bit more um expensive than the offset lithograph prints they have a bigger color range and a higher value than an Austin lithograph print. But these are also, um, when you go to arts gallery today, you'll see many G clays represented. And you know, understand what the word G clay is just a French word that means stream of ink. It's actually a proofing process that was turned into a printing process in the early 1990s, late 1990s. And then it became a bona fide um, printing method uh, before the 2000s came. And so now you see many of them being done. Artists utilize this technique a lot to do reproductions because, hey, that's what's up. Item number 15 is Ancestral Spirits number one. You know, Ancestral Spirits number one uh, was also on my clothing line, my poncho artwear line. Uh, we're trying to get those back into production. Um, and, you know, COVID kind of, closed down a lot of plants that were producing those, especially the plants that were creating ours. We still haven't found a supplier that we feel confident enough with because we want another long-term relationship. Uh, those came out over 10 years ago, over a decade ago, and still are very, very popular and right now in high demand. But just sharing that, um, this Ancestral Spirits piece is part of that. Uh, this piece here measures 24 by 30 inches. It's a 200 edition, just a 200 edition. Um, it normally sells for $300, but today on Poncho Thon number 95, you can get Ancestral Spirits number one for $150. If you've got an uh, African uh, mask collection or African sculpt collection and you buy this piece, it's going to be set off. That's right. These are that's why these pieces were created to accent African pieces that you may already have in your home. Item number 15 is Ancestral Spirits number one to G Clay. If you like that piece just put item number 15 and sold and you will get this piece for 150 dollars item number 16 is ancestral spirits number two you can see these pieces are rich and they also go very very well together if you decide you want to match these up yes they have different color ranges but because of the stylization they work very very well together this is item number 16 ancestral spirits number two uh, also, this piece measures 24 by 30 inches. It normally sells for $300, but today on Punchathon, 95, y'all. You need to do 95 of anything, y'all. You know what I'm talking about. Item number 16. If you like that piece, just put item number 16 and sold. And Ancestral Spirits number two will be coming your way. Item number 17. That's right, y'all. We can become part of the same series. All these pieces look masterful together. 
I, I have one client that has all three of these on one wall, same frame. Woo! Powerful, powerful, powerful. Accented by other African masks and African sculptures, African fabrics. It's just a wonderful thing to see people hook up their spaces the way they should be hooked up. This is item number 17. If you like this piece, just put item number 17 and sold and ancestral spirits number three. It also measures 24 by 30 inches. It also retails for $300, but on today's show, number 95, you can get ancestral spirits number three for just $150. If you like that piece, just put item number 17 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Hey, Poncho, um, show me something that I haven't seen before. Well, unless you watch every show we do, you probably haven't seen some of our older art, some of the things I used to do back in the day. So I'm going to give you a sneak preview of some of the older pieces that have never been published that you may have never seen. Then when I asked what y'all was having to eat, and uh, Rachel Braxton said she had Chipotle. Boo, boo. No, I like Chipotle. Matter of fact, Chipotle might hit the spot right now. Uh, we got Miss uh, Charlotte Vincent. She said she having some fish and fries. Woo! Wow, what kind of fish you having, Charlotte? Mm, mm, mm. That sounds like a good uh, candidate for me for this evening. And you know, Mr. Lau used to live in Baltimore, so he is very well aware of my favorite crab cake spot here in Baltimore City. I know we hear a lot of people claiming that they're good at crab cakes. Baltimore is, that's the thing that crab Baltimore is known for, is crab cakes. I don't know how it became that way. Some people know for barbecue, some people know for hot dogs, some people know for pizza. We are known for crab cakes, and Coco's is our number one spot. So that's right, y'all. Um, item number 18. We're still in the G Clay section of the show. These This piece right here is called Spiritual Realm. I do this whole set of what I call my stained glass series. These are my spiritual pieces. This piece right here is shows a family reading a Bible or maybe a chem. You never know. It depends on where you come from, what your indoctrination is. Item number 18 is a piece called Spiritual Realm. It measures 24 by 30 inches. It normally sells for $400. It is a 62 edition. If you like that, just put item number 18 and sold. And today on Project Dawn number 95, you can have Spiritual Realm for just $200. That's right. Item number 18. If you like that piece, just put item number 18 and sold. And Spiritual Realm will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 19. 
Item number 19 is another spiritual piece. And you see the theme for today has been spiritual stuff. This is his, he's worthy to be praised. That's the title of this piece. It's probably, this piece has more figures than anything that I've painted. Uh, this piece right here is a 62 edition. It measures 24 by 30 inches. It normally sells for $400. But he's worthy to be praised. You clean can be yours for just two hundred dollars today on punch number 95 if you like that piece just put item number 19 and sold and that's uh, a wonderful piece to add to your collection if you're looking for some spiritual pieces that's right y'all we got a couple of comments here well linda grace says she is having some watermelon it's tasty and hydrating i got you i i i could use some watermelon but i'm looking for something that's gonna hit the spot you know i had some uh had some some curry goat yesterday to hit the spot and so i think it opened the pathway right now of my appetite so i gotta figure out what i want to have for this evening uh you know because i'm trying to eat it uh before eight o'clock which is show wraps up at eight o'clock so you know that's a little bit of a challenge but you know you do the best you can item number 19. uh dr charlene randolph says any mail influence items i want to inspire my eight-year-old artist that's right you know i do do a lot of pieces that are male influence uh hopefully you can check out some of the older shows to see that uh try to make sure that a few of those pieces are included in every show that we do we have quite a few of them on the show today and so keep on tuning in and you will definitely see some of those pieces that are male influence we uh that's kind of something i strive to do item number 19 again is uh he's worthy to be praised you like that piece just put item number 19 and sold and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection thank you so much uh dr randolph for uh giving me ideas of what you'd like to see hey if you're watching the show we got a lot still got a, a great amount of people still in the room let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see on some future shows that would be something grateful that would help us out uh something things you might be looking for what are you looking for is there a piece that you're looking for What's that one piece you've been waiting to show up on Ponchothon that you have not caught on the sale you want yet? Let me know uh, in the comment stream. Um, number 20 is uh, another whole section of the show. You know, I've been trying to make sure that uh, as we produce the show that we try to introduce people to as many um, original works as possible, trying to start a movement where we begin to um, invest in small original pieces and original pieces to enrich our collections. Um, you know, there's never too late to get involved. And so what I've done with Poncho Thon is to try to add five or six pieces in the show that are original pieces that are in the studio that are uh, priced at a, the best price you can buy my original works without seeing them in the museum or gallery and it gives you a chance to participate. So that's what I am looking forward to, to doing. Uh, we showed at least five pieces per show. We do have a bonus piece today, but we normally do a countdown before we show those original pieces. So here we go. Item number 20 is a piece we call Flux number one. Flux number one. You know, I did a whole series of abstracts that dealt with energy uh, and the perception of energy. Uh, you know, we talk about that word a lot, but uh, what does that mean? What does it look like? What does energy look like? And so I did a little experiment with these pieces here to kind of make what I thought energy looked like. This is one of two pieces, but this is Flux number one. This piece measures uh, 12 by 12 inches. It's a small original. Um, it normally would sell for $400, but today on Poncho Thon, number 95, you get flush for just $200. Did you hear what I just said? A chance to own a small original by Larry Poncho Brown for $200. Item number 20. Uh, and it's also something you wouldn't normally see. It shows pieces from my abstract side, which I'm still exploring today and you'll be seeing more of that in the coming years but this is a great piece this is created in 2009 if you like this piece and you want to add this to your collection as one of your first originals just put item number 20 and sold and flux number one will be coming 
your way. Item number 21 is a piece that I keep bringing back because um, a lot of people haven't seen it. It's a collaboration between me and my father. Uh, my father did certain works that were um, not completed when he passed. And this is one of the pieces that I did. And part of my therapy, uh, my grieving cycle when he passed was to start painting on his papers. He left me tons of paper and work. You know, my father was an artist too. I'm a second generation artist. Son is a third generation artist. So part of my therapy was to start utilizing his paper and a lot of my pieces. And so in this case, this was a piece that wasn't completed, had no details in it. It was just kind of blocked in. And what I did was I went back, I added details to it, I added patterns to it. I added highlights and shadows to it. This piece was on the cover of one of my calendars from about three years ago. The title of this piece is Like Chocolate in the Rain. Like Chocolate in the Rain, item number 21. You've heard that whole concept before when you step outside and you act like you're going to melt when it's raining. That's what this whole piece is about. I hope I captured the feel to that old saying, item number 21. If you like that piece, just put item number 21. It measures 12 by 16 inches. It retails for $1,000, but on Poncho Thon number 95, you can have this piece, Like Chocolate in the Rain, for $500. That is 50%. Do you guys understand that the rate that I show you some of the pieces on Poncho Thon is the rate that we charge most galleries to get our work? And so you get a chance to participate at a much lower rate, at a competitive rate than the galleries, your community gallery. And it's just something we do online every now and then, every Wednesday, you know. And I've been doing this show for three years now. And um, and quite a few people, Michael McCarthy is one of them. Carol Gray is one of them. Um, they have secured my original pieces. And this they, they bought quite a few originals from this show. Take a note. That's the best way to collect. It's the best way to ease yourself in. So don't sleep on this part of the show when I show it in the future. And if you say you want to start some originals, the question is, what's in the waiting? Item number 21, if you like that piece and you want to add something substantial to your art collection, just put item number 21 and sold, and this piece will be yours for just $500. That's right, y'all. Normally $1,000. Another thing I want to say about the subject is when I price pieces on the show that are pieces that are unframed, I have a portfolio price, which sometimes I create a piece. I put them in the portfolio. I put them away. They, they, they're, they're put at a particular average price. But by the time I frame them, map them, those pieces, and before they go to a gallery, the prices are adjusted for where they're getting ready to go, and they are adjusted upwards. So by the time I add the framing and the other stuff in, that's how we get those prices. So a lot of times when you buy from the show, that's another added incentive you get is that you're buying the pieces before it actually reaches that stage. Item number 21 again is like chocolate in the rain. If you like that piece, just put item number 21 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 22. This is something that's funky and abstract, and I did a whole series of masks that were painted with... Uh, uh, G. Clay toner ink. That's right. You know, they come in different colors, but they overlap. They make other colors. That, and this piece was done with that uh, black toner, blue uh, cyan toner, yellow toner, uh, cyan toner. And uh, all the colors you see are because colors have been mixed in. And there might be some white paint in this too. This piece is entitled Masquerade Number no. 3. That was probably done in 2009. Uh, this piece is, uh, measures 22 and a half by 30 inches. It shows my festive side. Wanted to try to get a, a, a nice festive flavor with these pieces and do something a little unique with masks because I'm very, uh, I really am intrigued by doing all types of masks and, and, and uh, how can I say, designed faces. Okay. Item number 22 is masquerade item, uh, masquerade number three. This piece normally sells for $1,200. Today, you can have this piece for $600, and it measures 22 and a half by 30 inches. If you like that piece, just put item number 22 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey, Lorette Wright, what is item number 21? Sorry, I missed that. Well, I will back it up so you can see it. 
Item number 21 is a like chocolate in the rain. Uh, we are offering this piece on the show for just whoo man oh man of shepherds five hundred dollars y'all five hundred dollars images 12 by 16 the size of 21 is 12 by 16 inches that's right so if you miss that size that is the size of that piece i had a little bit of room to go backwards i don't normally go backwards but i see and guess what while you were thinking about it miss carol gray made a commitment so miss carol gray congratulations like chocolate in the rain is added to your collection and this piece is a dear piece to me i'm glad you got this piece as part of your collection and miss rachel braxton thank you for checking this out she's keeping track of the notes she's seen the sizes and she just down and put it in but miss rachel thank you uh well you know miss Wright, that's the way this thing works we got about 20 people in the gallery that are sitting watching the show they got their credit cards out they've been him they, they're, they're trying to shop they're trying to serve so that's the nature of the show. But uh, keep watching. Someday something will come up that you will be uh, pleased to add to your collection. Let's get back to it. Uh, number 22 was, uh, again, Masquerade. It sells for $1,200. But today on Ponchothon, you can have Masquerade for just $600. It's a 22 and a half by 30 inch piece. It's very, 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 very nice piece. Um, we are... Uh, um, you know, I like to do pieces. My median size piece when I'm doing originals is 22 by 30. That's the standard sheet size of watercolor paper that we get. And so those all frame up to be very, very nice size piece. Item number 22 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 23. Uh, we going way back into the, uh, the, 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 this is, this is just one of those pieces that I created back when I was doing pastel works. And so uh, I use all mediums, y'all. I like to use oils. I, I can use acrylic. I can use watercolor. I can use pencil. I can use ink. But this particular piece was done in pastel. Uh, of my college years, I did a lot of pastel pieces. Some of them were very, very large. This piece right here is entitled Togetherness, the original. It measures 19 by 22 inches. Uh, the price is $1,800. But today you can have that piece togetherness for just this piece is on, on a special um, paper. You know, uh, charcoal and uh, pastel are, I think they are operate better on certain types of paper. And this is a specialty paper. This piece is normally $1,800, but today on Poncho Thun number 95, you can have togetherness for $900. That is 50% off if you like that piece. Just put item number 23 and sold and togetherness will be coming your way. Item number 24 is a new piece that's currently in the small original show. I just let this slide here for folks. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. Sometimes I'm, I'm bumping around. I'm trying to come up with something different and, and it happens. And then sometimes I go, I go beyond uh, this is up this up this piece just evolved into something that I hadn't intended, but it also turned into a whole series of paintings. Commiso um, is a piece that uh, it's just me trying to make the African spirit faces. And so you look at them, all it is is this texture and acrylic paint and paper and all kinds of different things mixed together. And in addition to whatever I technique I use for the background. Item 24 is Camiso, the original. It normally sells for $1,800. It measures 16 by 20 inches. You can have that piece for $900. Like that piece, just put item number 24. And so, and Camiso will be yours for just $900. Item number 24 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 25. Yes. Now and then you see something on the show that I is completely different than what I normally do. I was dabbling with this whole abstract thing. Then I was doing this whole geometric thing with pyramids. And then this is a mixture of both of those things. This piece is entitled Voyage to the Blue Planet. Voyage to the Blue Planet. It measures 10 and a half by 35 inches. This is a very, very wide piece. Frames up very, very nicely. Very mystical looking piece. Uh, this piece normally would sell for $1,800. But today on Poncho Thunder 95, again, these are pieces that you would never get to see 
if a gallery hired me to come and do a show, typically what will happen is that they already have an idea what they want me to bring. It's normally based on things that they've sold before or things that they've seen before. They're not saying, hey, Pancho, bring me something I've never seen. And so that's what's so important about this show is you get a chance to see some things that even the gallery wouldn't even have taken a chance on it and may not have ever seen. And this piece is one of those pieces. Voyage to the Blue Planet is normally $1,800. It measures 10 and a half by 35 inches again. And today on Punch's Thought number 95, you can have it for just $900. If you like that piece, put item number 25 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. We have one bonus piece, which we will show you item number 26. And this piece is a, a, a departure for me, a whole series of new pieces that are a combination of oil pastel and acrylic, uh, kind of in a real uh, Picasso West kind of a style. You know, Picasso copied off African American art, so I copied it off him. There you go. And I did a whole series of these um, abstract black figures, just these nudes. This piece right here is titled In Your Favorite Chair, the original. If you want something that nobody's going to have, this is the kind of work that I'm showing you, pieces that you won't generally get a chance to see. Item number 26 is um, uh, measures 22 and a half by 30 inches. That's that size I told you that we normally work on those pieces. P this piece would be awesome frame, has a lot of texture, and it's using a lot of my favorite colors. You know, I work purple and everything. Uh, but this piece normally sells for $2,500. And today on Punch and Thunder 95, you can have this piece for $1,200 in your favorite chair, the original. If you want something different and you're into nudes, this is a really nice piece to have. This is item number 26. If you'd like that piece, just put item number 26 and sold and that piece will be coming your way. That's it for our menu for today, y'all. That is 20, you know, that's one over. We try to do 25 pieces, but we want to, every now and then we slip something extra in. We want to thank you so much for tuning into the show. I know we went a little over today, but I don't think you mind. We are not on a real time frame with this. We try to get the show wrapped up an hour of the day. We went a little over. I appreciate you taking the time to look at the show. Uh, pass the word around to your friends. Uh, thank you again, Carolyn Gray. That piece will be um, coming your way. Uh, hopefully our reception was good enough for you today. We're still we're trying to solve that problem, and we will in the next couple of weeks. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for participating. We had a nice group of people in the room today. And uh, those of you who have never seen My City at Night, here you are. We want to thank you for tuning into the show. You know, I like to try to share, share, share. We, uh, whenever you come onto the show, show you some things that are important and proud of my city. So I want you to see that before we turn out for the day. Hey, thank you, Lyle. Have a safe trip tomorrow. Hey, we want to take the time to thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. I love you. Hey, take care of somebody else and, 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 and take care of you. And until next time, y'all, I love you. And we'll see you next Wednesday with another menu of items from Poncho Thon on FB Live.